Schools and taxes. St. John's County voters will have to decide on the ballot in November if they will spend more on taxes that will go to schools and teachers in the district. It's a school district that is bursting at the seams like a lot of people know. And tonight, a look at voters at what voters will see on the ballot. St. John's County schools are trying to keep up with the constant population growth within the county. St. John's is becoming uh, a much bigger system and different system than it was even 10 years ago. More homes equals more students and the need for more schools. This November, there will be two items on the ballot that deal with St. John's County schools and taxes. One question will ask voters if they want to continue a half cent sales tax. It will go toward building new schools, maintenance and technology. And we expect to grow over 13,000 in the next uh, 10 years. In reality, 13,000, 14,000 students is larger than about 30 school districts in Florida. That's 13,000 students who will need probably 10 to 12 new schools in that period of time. St. John's County School Superintendent Tim Forson expects that half cent sales tax, if approved, will go toward those schools. Voters approved that half cent sales tax in 2015, and now it's up for another vote that will continue it for another 10 years. The second question on the ballot regarding schools and taxes in St. John's County would increase property taxes by increasing the millage rate by one mill. That money would go mostly toward increasing staff and teacher salaries. Forson says it will help teachers be able to afford for to live in the county where they teach. St. John's County is the highest cost of living in the region. And so even today, for a new teacher to come in or a new employee to work in our system, they have difficulty finding housing that's affordable for them. And so it's important for us to try to pay salaries that are fair to them in this community. Superintendent Forson says all the money raised by these two tax proposals on the ballot would stay in St. John's County. The second of four town hall meetings is actually happening right now and the issues and those questions will be answered to really kind of spread out the information about what's at stake with the schools and then the tax situation. So if you've missed tonight's meeting, there are two more scheduled. There is one October 15th at the school district building downtown at six o'clock and the last one is October 17th at Nice High School.